talk about the uh, weather for the week because it uh, almost feels like what we get today might be the best we're going to get. And it's tough to think about that on a Monday, Eric, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> There's always the upcoming weekend. Would have liked to have moved today over toward Father's Day, and we had a kind of uh, both a weekend good days, uh, bring on the sunshine, but the weather is the weather. It's the only weather we got, right? And today's high, 75, it was pretty much right on target for this time of the year. That has been the story this June. It gets a red square because of a mild morning low, but temperatures across southern New England have been very close to average throughout the entire month and precipitation kind of a similar story too so it's a comfortable bright evening out there i'd say take advantage of it before the sun goes down well after eight o'clock tonight no big heat continues to be the theme no 90s yet in boston we only average about a dozen all year but still we'll be waiting and i think we'll be waiting until july before we get our first one taking a look at some very unsettled weather in the east there's a boundary right in there that's going to cause some forecast headaches for us over the next few days and certainly more cloud cover now tonight's lows close to 60 degrees across Across the region. The clouds will start to return later on tonight. And then we get to tomorrow morning, a chance of some scattered rain out the door. The best chance would be along and south of the Mass Pike. And what I'm kind of feeling is going to happen tomorrow in a tricky rainfall forecast is that there'll be heavy rain that scoots just off to our south, maybe even completely misses us here. The highest risk of a heavier downpour is toward the south coast. And then we'll have this zone with a lot of clouds and a few scattered showers across the rest of the interior. Not exactly a pouring buckets day, but not a really nice day either. And we do tend to dry out as we head toward tomorrow evening. So if you have any end of the day plans, I think we'll be in okay shape. The lowest chance of rainfall toward New Hampshire, northern Massachusetts. The highest chance of some showers or downpours more toward the south coast into Connecticut and Rhode Island as well. With a lot of clouds tomorrow, temperatures basically in the upper 60s to lower 70s. It's going to be a cooler day. Day. However, the humidity will be on the way up, so you'll notice some more mugginess to the air during the day tomorrow. As we head toward Wednesday, same idea. Still watching this boundary. I think most of the action is going to be off to our south and to our west. So Wednesday is not a very wet day, but it's a lot of cloud cover and a chance for a pop-up shower or a quick downpour. Thursday is very similar. Still a lot of clouds, a chance for a pop-up shower, but a large portion of the day is going to be dry. So it's a lot of this wishy-washy stuff over the next few days. Temperatures are on the cooler side, but it is muggy. And then the best chance of some real rainfall is Thursday night and into Friday. That's going to be a more potent system. Two points rising, generally in the low 60s this week. So we'll have a muggier feel compared to last week. And again, I do think the most potent one for us here is going to be Thursday night into Friday morning. There is a chance that rain would clear out as we head toward Friday evening for any end of the day plans. That should give way to a beautiful Saturday, and we may be able to get both days looking out really nice to be outside. Sunday's a bit more in question with some rain off to our south and west. But essentially, it's 70s across the board all the way through the week, and in the weekend, maybe flirting with 80 degrees again. David and Lisa, back to you.